And this is just a quick video because I saw it, um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes on Sunday, or on Saturday with my uh, older daughter. And um, it was awesome. This is totally a spoiler video. Don't watch it if you don't want spoilers. And you don't, because this movie is awesome. Okay? You sure? Because I think I can handle spoilers, but I wouldn't want to have been spoiled, because it's awesome. Oh my god, it was awesome! First of all, I love the original movies. I'm a big sci-fi fan. The first movie is like film literature, sci-fi film literature. The rest of them are like good comic books. I really enjoyed them. I was excited. Um, but also, I did not see that other movie a couple years ago about Return of the Apes, or about Planet of the Apes, just because I didn't want them to ruin it. I don't know. And then I heard mixed reviews of it, but I think I'll watch it now, but um, just to see. But but this movie was great. Um, you know, it went back to where some of the later movies in the original series had gone, to, to how the apes had come to, to control the Earth. And it just tied everything together so well. I mean, there's so... To, to reverse engineer something like the apes take over, you know, um, they just did an excellent job explaining, explaining it. And, uh, you know, through this movie, I thought a lot it was going to be like, how he got driven to be a monster. You know, they had him looking really angry as a, as an adolescent, and um, but they never did. It was never how he became a monster. It was how he became a revolutionary. How he became a little more ruthless than his sweet disposition would have brought him, had he not had his encounters with cruelty and whatnot. But he himself never really became cruel. He did become a little more brutal. But you know, like when he sees his former quote-unquote owner at the end of the movie, you know, the emotions that he had were, you know, the strength, the painful strength was to not go back into that sort of falsely nurturant environment, but he didn't want to kill that guy or anything, and it was just, um, I mean, I just love the theme of revolution. I love the theme of, uh, if anybody knows the book um, Plague Dogs by um, the guy that wrote Watership Down, you know, a couple dogs that are research subjects escape. It kind of reminded me of that. And um, it's just really touching. I mean, the part where Caesar first says no, the whole theater I was in just shuddered and gasped out loud, just in this kind of, it wasn't even a normal audience sound that we all make it was like ah. it was it was intense and um the computer acting uh the characters awesome um i read some panning reviews you know just a b movie and blah blah and blah. you can't believe these kinds of things and i can totally believe it i mean it's just every detail in that movie I couldn't predict what was going to happen. I'm trying to predict to my daughter, and, and I hate being right, and I'm not. It's a little bit of a step ahead of me. And um, it was just great. Like, I mean, it wasn't like the apes were stupid or that it was okay to abuse stupid animals, but it also wasn't that it was okay that they were stupid. Like, the big orangutan that Caesar talks to was already fairly intelligent. They, they needed more intelligence, but, you know, and it wasn't just because Caesar was intelligent. You know, it was like every little detail along the way. And, um, you know, including the way that Caesar deals with this one dominant chimp that's the dominant chimp when he gets to that sanctuary. You know, he doesn't brutally kill him and it's um, and then the action scene when it all starts to break loose and they're breaking free the other apes and running around San Francisco it's always nice to have a movie like that shot in a city you know <laughs> it's fun but the, the action at that point it's just uh, and just the emotion just the, the emotional the tense emotions or Caesar goes to that place and it, it's like it seems like it's good and then finds out he's in a cage and then it's just like being in a sane asylum and you know that inside he's you know got the intelligence of a human basically um yeah i just love that i think it's 
one of the better films I've ever seen. But I could just be, uh, I could be a little bit weak to it just because I like the themes of, of you know, animal rights and evolution. And somebody else was pointing out to me, oh yeah, and then like Avatar and this, no, no, no. Because Avatar was fun to watch. There were some good parts to it, you know, to the imagination to the imaginary world it created. It's like, oh, neat, a planet like this, and you're it's nine foot tall, you know, kind of escapist. Um, Sci-fi aspects with, um, you know, um, I, I think there was an escapist world created, but like, oh yeah, then the way it's gonna work is the Indians, all they need is a howly to save them, just a white guy to come, and you know, there was nothing like that in this movie. It just, it just worked. Um, yeah. I hate to even say the Avatar in the same breath as this movie. This movie was really awesome. And, uh, it, you know, the audience are reacting to it really well, but the, there's plenty of uh, reviews that have panned it. And, um, you know, I'm, I know there's an ideological part because it's very clear about the issue being cruelty to animals. And, um, but not unambiguously, right? Because they're trying to cure Alzheimer's and whatnot. So even that's not unambiguous. That's not, you know, unambiguously wrong. It's more like it's unambiguously obvious why creatures in that situation, given a chance, would revolt. Um, but it does, uh, it, the theme is definitely about animal cruelty, and in the context of medical research. So, I'm sure there's going to be ideological reaction from the right, probably has already uh, started, but it, as it becomes a really popular movie, which I imagine it will, because this is a very, like I say, the whole audience you know, it's not full of people that are so touched by stories of, about animal cruelty. You know, it's just an ordinary audience, and they're gasping. You know, they're they're having trouble getting their breath. So, I think it'll be a popular movie, and I'm sure that it'll be a big ideological reaction to it. Um, so, I think that some of the pans are, are coming from that. And then just other ideas that some people just can't imagine. You know, because this is far from a talking animal movie they they bear they don't really talk in it it's it's not some disney talking movie thing but i'm sure we'll get a lot of reactions like that just because I mean, people don't want to think of animals their rights their feelings their lives as metaphors for human condition uh, thinly veiled as the human condition is metaphors for what animals an animal life is like again thinly veiled you know it's people that just reject that kind of thing is oh, that's crackpot thinking there but whatever, this movie was great. I, I I wept some tears of joy as I was recounting the plot afterwards. So it was really, really great. I highly recommend it, except for, you know, I'm sorry I spoiled it if I'm recommending it and you haven't seen it. But So let's assume that you've seen it. I highly recommend watching this film again.